If you think you found an abandoned baby mouse, first, check the nest every one to two hours over the course of about six hours to make sure the mother doesn't return. Carefully check the baby mouse for signs of injury. If you think it might have been hurt, you'll need to take it to a vet right away. Your baby mouse will need a warm, comfortable environment, so set up a metal, plastic, or glass cage with at least one cubic foot, 30 cubic centimeters of space. Spread some soft, mouse-safe wood shavings over the bottom of the cage. You can buy these at your local pet store. To make sure the baby mouse stays warm, put the cage in a part of your home that stays around 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 degrees Celsius. You can also add a heat source to the cage, such as a hot water bottle wrapped in towels or a heating pad under half of the cage. Just make sure the mouse has space to move away from the heat source if it wants to. As your baby mouse gets older, add some toys, such as a mouse wheel or foraging toy with treats inside. To feed the mouse, offer it slightly diluted soy baby formula or kitten formula. Baby mice can also digest goat's milk. Heat the milk slightly before feeding the mouse. It should feel lukewarm, not hot. Hold the mouse gently, but firmly in your hand, and offer the milk one drop at a time, from a dropper or syringe. If the mouse is under two weeks old, it will need to eat every one to two hours around the clock. After that, it can eat once every three to four hours. By the time the mouse's eyes are open, you'll no longer need to feed it during the night. You can also start feeding it solid foods, such as baby food or hamster food moistened with milk. It should be completely weaned by the time it's six weeks old. After meals, gently wipe the mouse's belly with a cotton ball dipped in warm water to stimulate it to pee and poop. Always handle baby mice gently, since they're very delicate. Wash your hands with soap and water when you're done to prevent diseases.